A small analysis of the new trailer for the film Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. What will show us in the third part of the adventures of Newt's Commander? Fantastic Beasts is a highly controversial franchise. As a prequel to one of the most popular stories of recent years, Fantastic Beasts itself didn't do well at the box office or in reviews. The first film was very good, but the second was much less successful. Later, scandals with a change of actor were added to it. Johnny Depp is gone, making way for the equally cool Mads Mikkelsen, and now we have a new trailer for the third film. What was shown in the trailer and what to expect from the film? What was shown in the trailer? The trailer starts with the words of the old Dumbledore, presumably from the time of the events of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. He says that memories are extremely important and people without them remain blind. Since the first trailer, this is the second time we've been shown the old Dumbledore. Next, we are shown the already young Albus Dumbledore in Hogwarts Castle. The golden snitch flies by, followed by a Gryffindor Quidditch player. Probably another reference to Harry Potter himself, as well as the Resurrection Stone, which Dumbledore himself would later give Harry using the snitch. Surely the theme of the Deathly Hallows will still slip in this film. Then a sorceress comes to Dumbledore and informs him that Grindelwald is starting to act. After that, we are shown Grindelwald himself, as well as Credence, who now has his own bird, like Albus's Phoenix Fox maybe it's Fox himself. Gellert Grindelwald makes a speech, and Dumbledore asks the main characters for help. Another sorceress, presumably one of the Hogwarts professors, comes to Jakob Kowalski. She asks him for help, but he refuses and closes the door on her. However, to no avail. I replay the train scene and handing over the wand to Mr. Kowalski. After that, the team of the main characters are trying to get in somewhere, but the door closes in front of them, and Grindelwald is at some important reception. Then we are shown the mirror. The inscription, you know who this is, looms on it, and Aberforth, Albus's brother, is reflected on the mirror itself. Another sorceress tells Newt that no one should know everything, not even him. The golden snitch is shown again, this time it lands in Dumbledore's hands. He and Grindelwald meet at some establishment and discuss the situation. After that, all the main characters meet near some magical object, and Dumbledore and Kowalski, having touched it, probably transgress. This is followed by a series of confrontation scenes between Credence and Albus and a number of different fight scenes. At the end of the trailer, Jakob Kowalski is trying to master the magic wand, which is extremely difficult for him. His efforts are watched by Queenie. What will the movie be about? From the trailer, it becomes definitively clear that the film will focus on the confrontation between Albus Dumbledore and Gellert Grindelwald. Perhaps in the film we will be shown the legendary duel of these two magicians. They will also continue the line with Credence. So it is still not clear whether he is Dumbledore, or whether this is a cunning plan by Grindelwald. However, there are quite a few scenes of confrontation between him and Albus in the trailer. I think the film will give us the answer to this question, one way or another. I am also interested in the line of Jacob Kowalski, an ordinary muggle who was only supposed to appear in the first movie. And okay, his appearance in the second, but what was shown now? How would they explain giving him the wand? Is it permanent or temporary? And what will he do with her? Will he fight her, trying to bring her back to the light side? In general, many questions and few answers. The last part. As you know, initially we were promised five full parts of Fantastic Beasts. However, the failure, and it was a failure, of the second film, as well as the situation with the pandemic, greatly crippled the studio's plans, Warner Brothers has never been too patient, recall at least their politics with the DC Universe, they can easily kill such a popular franchise because of one or two unsuccessful projects, now Fantastic Beasts 3 is presented as the last part, and all the storylines lead to the conclusion of the story here, however, not all so simple, as I heard, this tape will become a kind of transshipment point, if it is successful, we will see sequels, if it fails, then the story ends here, it all sounds too ambiguous, with this approach, I personally think that failure is much more real, outcome, I have said many times that I love the world of magic created by JK Rowling, that is why, I met each new project, and will meet it with trepidation and impatience, however, the Fantastic Beasts have their own problems, right now, I don't expect much from the movie, but I'm looking forward to the movie itself, again, the low expectation tactic works best, let's see what the third Fantastic Beasts can offer us, someday, maybe. Thank you.